Hi students, today I am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given concave lens using a convex lens by out of contact method. So, my concave lens always form a, a virtual image. So, it is very tough to find the focal length of the concave lens in the direct method. So, I am going to use a convex lens to find the focal length of the given concave lens. So, the apparatus required. So, I need a concave and convex lens and a two lens stand and a screen and a source and a, a meter scale. So, using this apparatus, I am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given concave lens. So, here I am explaining the ray diagram. So, first uh, I am going to place my object here. This is my lens 1, this is nothing but my convex lens. So, if I place my convex lens between f and 2f, I am getting a, a real and inverted image. At this point is my i dash. This is the image produced by the convex lens. So, now this image produced by the convex lens is act as the object for the my concave lens. So, I am going to introduce my concave lens between the lens and the image produced by the lens 1. So, I am going to introduce here. So, my image produced by the convex lens is my i dash here this is act as a, a virtual object for my lens L2. So, then the final image produced by the L2 is my concave lens is formed here is i. The distance from the lens L2 to i dash is my u. The distance from L2 to the optical center of L2 to and i is my v. So, using this u and v value, if I substitute here in the lens formula, so 1 by f equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u, after simplifying this, we are able to find the focal length f equal to uv divided by u minus v. Using these two values, I am able to find the focal length of the given concave lens. I will explain. So, first we are going to place this convex lens between f and 2f. So, I am going to place this in the lens stand. So, initially I am going to choose the distance from the object to lens is 26 centimeters. So, if you are fixing this value between f and 2f, then only it will form a real and inverted image. So, now I am going to move my screen until the clear image is formed. So, there is a formation of clear image at this point. So, the image produced by this lens is act as an object for my concave lens. So, now I am going to introduce my concave lens between lens and screen. So, I am going to introduce here. So, I am going to fix the value of u is approximately some 10 centimeters. So, I am going to place here 10 centimeter from the screen. So, this is act as my object distance. Okay, 10 centimeter from the screen is act as a object distance is my u. So, the image produced by the first lens is act as a object for the second lens. Now, the distance from here to here is 10 centimeters. So, now we are going to move the screen until we are getting the clear image. So, there is a formation of clear image. If I am measuring the distance from here to here, so I am getting the value of 19.5. So, this is my u sorry b. So, initially we fix this value the distance between concave lens and i dash. i dash my image produced by the first lens is 10 centimeter u and the distance between concave lens and the position i2 my image of image produced by the concave lens is 19.5. Again I am going to repeat the same process. 
so now we are going to move this lens and uh, again for the same u value i'm going to adjust my screen to get the real and inverted image so now i'm going to introduce my concave lens in between the screen and lens so now my distance between the screen and this concave lens is 12 cm 12 cm so the image produced by the first lens is act as a object for the second lens so this my object distance is 12 cm so now i can move the screen to get the clear image see there is a formation of clear image on the screen so the now the distance from this point to this point is 23.5 so 23.5 so for u equal to 12 cm this is 23.5 so using this u and v value we are able to find the focal length here if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching